guys, what's up? Good morning, it's Biker Babe Beth here. It's a beautiful day here in Ohio, not super hot, 70s. So today, I'm gonna take you with me to take a ride with one of my buddies who just got a nice new motorcycle. I'm sure you guys saw that video. And we're just gonna take a cruise locally. After that, I have some other plans. There's a vintage bike show today, so that's gonna be a ton of fun, I'm for sure gonna be there. I'm not entering because my vintage bike quite isn't ready for show-worthy events. Maybe sometime soon. But I'm super stoked to take you guys along with me on my day of riding. I have a new GoPro. This is on a GoPro 9. Still need to get the accessories so I can record audio while riding, but you just get to enjoy some lovely cruising with me today. And then once I'm off the bike, of course, I'll record what I see and what I'm doing. Awesome, guys. Let's have a beautiful, lovely day of riding here in Ohio. I'm super stoked to take you along and show you guys a day in the life of Beth. Come along and uh, hopefully you find it entertaining. If not, bleh. Okay. All right, we made it to the gas station. I need to fuel up. And then we're hitting some back roads locally with my buddy who just got a nightster. Ooh, I needed some gas, y'all. Hopefully you can hear me since I'm in my helmet, but we're fueling up and hitting the back roads. I'm excited. Thank you. So real fast, my buddy Dan is uh, realizing it's a little too hot, so he's taking off a lair. And then we're gonna hit some back roads, do some back road riding. Get him on some of his first real curvies. Let's do it. I'm excited. Odessa is so dirty. She needs a real <sighs> wash soon. I'm gonna have to make that happen. I got a car wash, like a legit car wash. She needs treated nicely. There's also a little bit of work she needs. Kill me. I'll do it eventually. But I procrastinate on all work. Always because I'd rather be riding my motorcycle. But I have to keep her rideable, which is the hard part. Okay, let's get out and ride. I'm excited. Woo! It's gonna be steamy. Okay guys, we are back from our ride around the countryside with my friend Dan. Uh, he was doing great on those curvies. Honestly, it's his first week of owning a motorcycle and he's gonna come to Throttle Co with me, get some motorcycle community love and see how he enjoys a bike show. So this is a vintage bike show at Throttle Co and it's to celebrate their year, one year anniversary. Congratulations Throttle Co. I'm super stoked to go there and say hi to my, my friend Nicole, who is Road Warrior Moto. If you don't follow her on YouTube and Instagram, you should. Hopefully we'll see some other friends there. I have a feeling I might see my buddy Clint for a moment if he has the time to stop by, but we'll see. Hopefully it'll be a really fun bike show and we'll get to hang out with some friends. All right guys, I'm ready to ride there. Let's go.
party. Oh, just, not even just you guys, people, other people, people I don't know. I know, yay. I was out here about 20 minutes ago and it was just this first road to this uh, golden right here. We made it. All right, what's up guys? We are officially at the bike show. There is way more bikes than I expected and I put my bike in it. Where is she, where is she? There she is. I put Odessa in it. It's for charity. Why not throw my bike in? There's a lot nicer vintage bikes. Mine is not vintage. Should have rode my iron head, but she's not running. But yeah, I also got my buddy Dan to enter his <laughs> Nightster too. So let's go check out all the cool bikes that are entered into this vintage bike show. Not all of them will be vintage because some of us want to just give to charity. So yeah, let's check it out. cool bike that's in this bike show I don't know though did you enter the bike show yeah oh see I was hoping that he entered the bike show um okay whatever <laughs> if you guys aren't familiar this is some Ohio guy where's he hiding there he is what's up he did not enter the bike show I'm disappointed he has a new Pan America and it probably would have won honestly <laughs> no, there's there's some uh, there's some really nice bikes here. Like, there are some really yeah. cool ones. I'm trying to get some like slow mo fancy footage of all the really <laughs> nice bikes, but it's gonna take me a while to get through them all. Yeah. Ooh, wish me luck. Ooh, is this a little flat tracker? I think so. Oh, hello. Break open the cake, slice that up, 
Uh, probably in a very, very tiny slices, but hey, here we go. <laughs> so again, thank you guys all for coming out and uh, enjoy the afternoon, thanks. No, don't drop your cake, Ronnie. Eat your cake. You're good. I'm gonna go vote, and then I'll get back to you guys with what my top five are. I'll probably write them down as I go and then show you it. How about that? My bike didn't win the bike show. They haven't announced that yet, but I did win a little Royal Enfield swag bag. Woo! So I go home with some goodies at the very least. Listen to these ones pull in. Uh, just to remind you, all the proceeds for this are going to uh, CHA Animal Shelter. So thank you all very much for your generosity. So all right, so without further ado, in no particular order, Jared Wetling with this 81 Suzuki GS450. Come on up. Where you at, buddy? That's that one right there, that Baruka. That good? Where'd he go? Here you here? I haven't seen him the whole time, been here. Left. Whatever. <laughs> Steve Rosenthal with your 57 Harley Sports, sir. Yeah! Well done. Woo! 35 votes for you, sir. Yes. Yes, me too. It's uh, that one right there. I voted for him for sure. Jim Thomas. With your 72 Norton. Yeah! What a great bike Jim, you got the most votes, by the way. 36 votes. Yeah! Congratulations, sir. Hello. All right, dude, you won. What is it? I don't know. I can't tell what they wrote. 77 R400. Right at the very last second. Yeah! Scraping in. And last but not least, Fred Jeffries with your 69 Harley with the sidecar. Yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo! Very good, sir. Congratulations. Yes. All right, guys, I didn't win, but I didn't expect to win. Now is the mass exodus of all of the motorcycles, including me. It's time to roll. It's time to go home. Me and Dan are going to cruise back to our side of town. All right, guys. I'll catch you once I get home from my cruise back through the city. I'll take you on a little bit of the ride though. It's probably so hard to hear me with all the bikes starting, so I will catch you back home. Everybody say bye to Ronnie.
right guys, I am back home after an amazing day of riding. Dan is killing it on his Nightster. I'm so super impressed and so proud of my buddy who's getting out there riding on a 1200. Shh, it's his first motorcycle and it's a 1200. Don't talk shit. He's gonna hear it enough from all of us in the, in the motorcycle community. He had one girl today go, Ooh, can I ask you what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> so starting on a 1200 is a big new bike for him, but he's killing it. He's doing such a great job. So I had such a fun time riding with him today. Thank you so much for coming along with me today, guys. I had too much freaking fun showing you around the backcountry roads a little bit into the city after that for a freaking bike show. That bike show was so much fun. I, you know, I'm a little bummed I didn't win, but my bike was not nearly as cool as some of those vintage bikes. And an iron head, of course, won, but the overall winner was that Norton. That yellow Norton was gorgeous. If you guys have not yet subscribed, please, please, please become a subscriber. Help me reach even bigger goals that I have now that I've reached 10K. What's next? 100k so if you could please subscribe to this video help me reach those amazing goals also like it while you're at it and comment down below what was your favorite bike from today's bike show and don't say odessa because i already know you guys love her but what other bikes did i show off to you that you really enjoyed seeing there were quite a few that i wish i could have in my garage but I'll be bringing more motorcycles home eventually. I gotta work on my iron head first though. I had quite a few people ask where she was. Maybe next vintage bike show, I'll be able to bring the iron head with me. We'll see. All right guys, thanks so much. Once again, this is Biker Bay Beth. I will catch all of you people on the next video. Peace out.